so planning to fly a drone in india so as per rule of the drone rule 2021 an operator is an a person or entity responsible for the overall operation safety compliance of the drone so in this video i will show you step by step how to register as a drone operator on bgcs egca portal so you can get your official egca id without confusion Drone operator registration is the process of recording your details with the DGCS EGCA platform. So once registered, you will receive unique operator ID. This is essential for assessing DGCA drone services like UN issuance, license and permissions. So open any browser in your laptop or mobile in the search tab type DGCA. After typing DGCA, press enter. So in the first option you will get Director General Civil Aviation home page link. Click on that home page link option. So now you are in DGCS official website. So in the right top corner, there is an option EGCA login. Click on that option. So now you are in EGCA login. So this page is only for those who are having EGCA ID. So now we are creating a drone operator ID. For that, you need to click on sign up option. So click on that sign up option. So now so in the sign up option you need to click on user type you need to search for drone operator so click on that drone operator options then click on submit now we are in the first step of drone operator registration page we will need to choose your user type click on the drop down menu and you will see several options individual, company, state, government, central government, UT and PSC or other government bodies. Select one of that matches who is applying. For example, if you are registering for a yourself, choose individual. If it is for a business, choose company. Once you have selected the correct option, click on the blue button that says proceed to step 2, move forward. Since we are registering as an individual, select individual from the list. After that, click on proceed to step 2 button to continue the personal detail page. So in this step, you need to enter all the personal details. So like uh, your first name, middle name, last name, as well as your passport number and PAN number you need to enter. So after entering, then you have to click on the nationality, India, then you need to fill the all the correspondent address so as well as registered address. So once you complete all the address filling option, then you have to click on the proceed to step 3. On this page, the first thing you will do is enter your ID proof details. From the drop down menu, select the type of ID you are using such as other, passport or voter ID. Click on the upload button to attach a clear scanned copy in the required format. Then enter your ID number exactly as it appears on the document. Confirm ID proof number. Next, create your account password and confirm it. Make sure it follows the rules in the password hint box. At least 10 characters with a mix of uppercase, lowercase, number and special characters. Now, enter your primary email ID if available and an alternate email ID. Select whether you have an Indian mobile number and type in your number. You can also provide an alternate mobile number if you want. Type the CAPTCHA code exactly as shown, then click on receive OTP button. Enter OTP sent to your mobile number and email in the respective boxes. Type the CAPTCHA code exactly as shown. Finally, tick the declaration box to confirm your details and click submit application to complete this step. Once you click on submit application, the system will process your details. If everything is correct, your EGC aid will be generated instantly and activated. This is your official drone operator ID, which will you need for all DGCA drone services including drone registration, licensing and flight permissions. Make sure to note it down and keep it safe for the future use. Now that we have completed the individual registration and received the EGC aid, let's move on to the registering as a company. The process is similar but the document and detail you have provided will be specific to your organization. In the step 2 of the company registration, we will need to fill your organization details. Start by entering your operator full name. This should be legal name of your company as per official record. Next type your operator trade name. This is the brand name under which your company operates if different from the legal name. 
on the right upload your proof of trade name this could be trade license registration certificate or the legal proof make sure file is jpg or pdf format and does not exceed 40 mb then enter your organization registration number for most companies this will be the cin number for your incorporation certificate finally upload your gst certificate in jpg or pdf format with a maximum size of 40 mb next we will provide the details of at least one director or equivalent officer for your company start by entering the director's name exactly as it appears in official records then enter the director dn number this is the director identification number issued by the ministry of corporate affairs next tick whether other validation is required for this director if you choose as you will need to provide an other number for verification in the next step enter the director's email id mobile number make sure these are correct as they used for the verification on the right upload proof of dn this could be dn allotment letter or another valid document the file should be in jpg or pdf format up to 40 mb once you have filled all the details click add to save this director's information if you have more than one director repeat the process for each one before you move on in this step you will need to provide both your correspondence address and your registered address first under correspondence address select your state from the drop down then fill in address line 1 and if necessary address line 2 add a landmark if it is help to identify your location finally enter the pin code so if your registered address is the same as correspondence address tick the checkbox same as correspond address this will be automatically copy the details if it is different manually fill the state address lines landmark and pin code for the registered address section once both the address sections are completed you can move on to the proceed to step 3 now we are on step 3 email id and mobile number validation the first thing is to do here is to create password for your etc account in the create password field type a password that meets all the requirement listed in the password hint box on the right make sure it follows the rules in the password hint box at least 10 characters with a mix of uppercase lowercase numbers and special character once you have entered your password retype it in the confirm password field to make sure it matches exactly so now enter your company's the primary email id in the first box and if you have one an alternate email id in the second next answer the questions do you have indian mobile number in most cases select as and enter your mobile number you can also provide an alternate mobile number if required then type the captcha code exactly as shown in the box below then click receive otp button enter the otp sent to your mobile and email in the respective boxes Type the CAPTCHA code exactly as shown. Finally, tick the declaration box to confirm your details and click submit application to complete this step. Once you click submit application, the system will process your details. If everything is correct, your EGC ID will be generated instantly and activated. This is your official drone operator ID which will need for all DGC drone services including drone registration, licensing and flight permissions. Make sure to note it down and keep it safe for your future use. After getting the EGC ID, once again you need to EGC login. In that, you need to enter EGC ID and already created password. Enter the CAPTCHA, then click on login. So in the first login, the EGC portal will ask the other validation. Here you need to enter the other number, then click on verify. Then you will get OTP to your other linked mobile number. Enter the OTP, then click on validate. Now you are ready to use EGCA portal as drone operator.